Isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa pag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating alive program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS program at SPED tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes Mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, all alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, The Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello, good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Ayan, Ay, good afternoon. Shout out muna tayo. And uh, we'll have so many um, viewers this afternoon who are very early. Ayan, we have John, Christian, Miko. Good afternoon po ma'am, Joyceline and Tutor Floyd. Sorry, Tutor Floyd will not be with us this afternoon, but just stay tuned and let's have fun in learning the subject. Okay, so let us first, before we shout out, okay, so I am Tutor Joyce and join me as we journey to the world of fun and excitement, leap back in time, travel the world as we learn about the modern literature that we know today. We are now in the third week of quarter two of the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. Ayan. So before we continue, let us have a shout out to our viewers this afternoon. Yes, we have another from Joseph Conrad Bulakla. Good afternoon. Ayan. We also have from Trisha Lian Argoliano. Okay. We have Sir Jerry. Hello, sir. <laughs> ayan. And of course, ayan, maka... Ang lakas niyong maka Bonifacio Day, Labor Day. Yeah. We also have, good afternoon from CBS. Yeah, from Sheila. Naku, from Sheila Lingonan. Good afternoon po. 
Yes, we have also from Ayan Henry, Marcin, Lucin. Okay, we also have uh, Oronce. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon to everyone. Okay, and yeah, before we continue with our shout, shout out, so be, let's have first our celebration day for today. Ano kaya sila celebrate natin? Okay, so can you guess? Oh, yeah, na, na-present ko na pala, sorry. <laughs> so we have the Happy Bonifacio Day. Ayan, so maging happy naman kahit na it's a, it's actually a, a Philippine, a Philippine Revolutionary Society founded by the anti-Spanish colonialism Filipinos in Manila way back in 1892. Okay, but before that, can you guess? Sino kaya? Sige nga, let's have a challenge muna. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng KKK? Anyone? Okay, can you just type your answers on our chat space? Ayan, sino kaya ang makakahula ng ating, or isipin natin ulit, let's just reminisce what does KKK stands for? Yan yung sinaselebrate natin today. Anyone? Ayan, alam ko, alam, aral na aral nyo ito, especially in elementary days pa, di ba? Okay, so anyone? Yes? Ayan, ayun na. Yan, si Miss Bianca Alzaga, ang sabi niya, ay ma'am is kataas-taasang, kagalang-galangang, katipunan na mga anak ng bayan. Wow, galing. Yes, you're ex that's exactly the correct answer. Ayan, so I hope everybody is feeling, ano, uh, feeling, ano ngayon, hero as in uh, like uh, Andres Bonifacio, Teodado Arellano, Ladislao Diwa, Teodoro Plata, Valentin Diaz, and Jose Dizon. These were the founders of the Bonifacio uh, Revolution. Or I mean revolution. Okay, moving on to our um, enthusiastic of the week. We have, yes, and their output. And talaga naman, no? Very uh, amazing output that they have presented there in our FB page. We have Christine Joy D. Frias. We also have Regine S. Labong. Marian Joy Nuwika. Yeah, good afternoon, and I hope that you will continue. No, you continue posting your amazing outputs. Okay, your nice outputs, guys, and always tune in to our uh, uh, live session here in Itzulai. Okay, so let's move on. So let us have a recap. So we have learned from our previous lessons the features elements and characteristics of a graphic novels and a flash fiction so and we even differentiated them no both fictions Ayan. okay so for our next this afternoon we have for quarter two week three for our next or the most essential learning competency we have produce a creative representation of a literary text by applying multimedia and ICT skills. Ayan. And of course, our lesson will not be complete without our lesson objective, syempre. So we have recall the elements of a short story, differentiate a fable from a parable, Interpret a text, read through its elements and guide questions. Ayan. And appreciate the creative adaptation of a literary text. Ayan. So these are actually the guided the objectives that we will be uh, expected no? this afternoon. Okay, so... Our literary or literature concept of the week is we have anecdote and adaptation. So in speaking of anecdote, mm -hmm, it's actually a short story that about an interesting or funny event occurring occurrence that has happened to the person or a or sharing that the, the the story, you no, know, and it has lesson that uh, uh, the the readers might uh, have taken, no, while 
doing or while sharing these anecdotes. Another, we have the adaptation, mm -hmm. something that is adapted, especially a movie, of, so yeah, especially adapted into a movie or book or play that is changed that can be presented in another form. Ayan, that could be hold on the small, some plots, characters, setting, and themes that can also be modified at some point. Diba? There are books that we can um, see already that is trans transformed or adopted into a movie, perhaps. Ayan. And we have here the different, yeah, we have the fiction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Adaptation, yeah, we have the fiction. Here comes the fiction. So what does fiction mean? Where well, fiction, these are written stories about people and events that are not real. Yes. And speaking of this, we also have, it tells stories which are imagined or imagined by the writer. So when you speak of fiction, it's more on just you're using the writer's imagination. Even the readers, diba? When you're reading fiction, as if you're imagining things while you are reading. Okay? And these are actually created uh, artistically by the writers. Any narrative work or portraying people, events, or places in a imaginary ways. How about a short story? Well, a short story, when you speak of short story, it's actually a brief fictional prose narrative that is shorter than a novel. Mm -hmm. Nalala nyo before, yung flash fiction, shorter than a short story. Ito naman, shorter than the novel, than a novel. And that usually deals with only few characters. Mm -hmm. Ayan. And and usually, no short stories, novels, legends, and fairy tales are all considered fiction. Ayan, nabibilang sila dyan. Well, setting, plot points, and characters and fictions are sometimes based on real-life events or people, writers, use such things as jumping off, you know, plus jumping off the points for, uh, for their stories. Ayan. And anecdotes, even anecdotes or other literary genres have made it possible to present creative literary adaptations. Yeah. And speaking of a short story, let us, um, let us find out the basic elements of a fiction. Yeah. Okay. So here are the basic elements of a fiction. So to start with, when speak of basic elements, these are actually the essential elements, keeps the story running smoothly, mm -hmm, and allow the action to develop in a logical way that the reader can follow. Ayon, yun yun tinatawag, parang siyang naging guide, no? Or the parts of as actually a story or a fiction. So to start with, we have, number one, we have setting. Yes, okay, or the time, yeah, the time, the place in which the story happened, yeah. and not only that, pag sinabi kasi natin time, it's more on historical period, yeah, no, time of the day, years, hours, okay, and even the decades, when the story takes place, yeah. So, another, we also have the still considered place no our setting we have weather conditions like run uh, is it rainy sunny stormy and uh okay we also have it's more on place is a geographical location where the action of the story takes place and and we also have the social conditions. So social condition, naman, it's more on daily life uh, characters. Okay, does a story contain local color? Okay, or focus on speech, dress, mannerism, customs, or a particular place. Yeah. And of course, yung mood or atmosphere na tinatawag, no? This is what feeling is created at the beginning of the story. Is it cheerful? O parang <laughs> iri, o no, nakakatakot. Ayan. So, it really uh, covers, no, this 
weather condition, social condition, this is still considered as under setting. Ayan. Another, we have the characters. Alam kong fam you're very familiar with this. This is just a, a, a short recap of what characters are. But still, let us find out what are the characters. So, characters are living beings or non-living things in a story that think and that enact to keep the story going. Okay. And the characters or elements are the person or people in a story. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are not human. Oh, hindi lahat ng characters are human. They sometimes animals or even spirits, de ba? Lalo na sa mga animes, they usually do that. And representation or a representation of a human being in a story. Ayan, no? Okay. And speaking of Okay, yeah, it's just going back, no? May nakalimutan ko konti. <laughs> okay, actually, these characters are, we all also have two types of characters. Ayan, baka nakalimutan ko, no? We have the protagonist and the antagonist. So, when you see protagonist is the main character. Ayan, yung pinakabida, no? Ng, <laughs> ng ating uh, pelikula or ng ating story. But with he or she is in conflict with another character who is known naman as the antagonist. Antagonist. Ayan. Okay. And, of course, an example of protagonist and antagonist are the Superman. Ayan. Or the protagonist naman, Lex Luthor. <laughs> diba? Yung sa Superman. Ayan. Okay. Mm. And includes also the characterization. So, let us check what are these characterizations. Ayan nga. Tingnan natin ha. Mamaya. Mm. When you speak of characterization, actually it is the process by which fictional characters are revealed, mm -hmm, presented, or developed by the writer. Yeah. So, ito. What do you think, guys? Okay, can you write your answer in our chat space? What do you think is the acronym used in characterization? Ayan, sige nga, tingnan na natin. Ano nga yun? If you can remember sa inyong mga English teachers before in junior high school or in senior high. Sige. So, what is that acronym used when we speak of characterization? Sige nga. Ayan, mukhang nag-iisip talaga sila. <laughs> okay, take your time guys. Oh, Macy? Ayan, so we have answers already from our chat space. Okay, yan. Oh, ayan, tama si Bianca. Bianca says, steel. Ano kaya yung steel na yan? Well, oh, thank you also, Joseph Conrad, for answering. And also, Randall Alvarado. Mm -hmm. Yan, si Mabini, Maria said, steel. Ayun, very good. Galing-galing nila. Mm. So, ano kaya ibig sabihin itong steel na ito? Is it the steel that we have to to get something from or without asking permission? Parang ganyan ba? Okay. So, we still steel. S is for speech. Ayan. Mm -hmm. Ano kaya yung T? Anyone would like to guess? S is for speech. Okay. T is for? Okay. Anyone? Ayan, makakarami na sila. Sige, reveal na natin. T is for, ayun, ano kayong bubble na yan? It's a thoughts. Yeah, correct. Maria Mabini is a thoughts. And also, Bianca Zaga. Another, how about the E? Ano naman kaya yung E? Mm -hmm. Okay, the E stands for, ayan, reveal na natin. It's actually effects on others towards the other character or towards the character. Ayan. Ayan. And A, ano naman itong A? Naku, alam na alam nyo to sa A, no? Lalo na sa mga movies. O, yan ang clue, ha? <laughs> okay, these are actually like Fernando Po Jr.'s movie. Ayan, Bianca, correct. These are actions. Ayan. And of course, yung L. O, ba? Ano naman itong L? Ayan. Ayan, thank you for answering. We have Trisha Argoliano, 
We also have Mabini answer and participating. Yes, Joseph also participating. Thank you, guys. Sheila Lingonan, thank you so much. So, anong L natin ay? Yes, Mabini, you're correct. It's the looks. Boy, may drawing pa si Bianca. Looks. Ayan. <laughs> So actually, guys, these are methods, no? Like direct characterization, tales versus show, and the characters' looks are directly explained or described. Okay, and among dramatic or in the indirect characterization, these are show versus tell, showing the characters, among in action, yeah, or how the characters acts or behaves, speaks, and so much, and 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 more, no? Ayan. And even the, what do you call this, the animals, no? the inanimate objects. Pero, pero sa parang or natural phenomenon as people sila. No, they are really characterizing themselves or even the animals, hindi lang people. Ayan. Thank you guys. Very active talaga ang ating audience this afternoon. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and another, we also have the dialogues. Ano? Dialogues, actually, these are direct or quoted verbal exchanges between or among characters. And of course, syempre, yung pinakano natin, no? the plot. Mm -hmm. These are actually the action elements, mm -hmm. sequence of events in a story. Yeah. So, actually, a plot refers to the flow of events in the story. So, essentially, refers to what is happening in the story. Ano na nangyari? Ano nangyari kay ano? Ganun, ganun. So, it, it actually has a beginning, the middle, and the ending of the story. Yun yung tinatawag na natin pinaka-plot natin. Okay. So let's continue. Another, we have conflict. Ano, ano naman itong conflict? Well, actually, these are stories, central problem, ayan, tension, fight, or the struggle. Ayan, so, parang merong the word conflict, no? Mm -hmm. And also, we also have the theme. Pero dagdagan ko lang, ano? When you speak of conflict, it's more on tension, the fight, or struggles between the characters or forces in the story. This actually gives the fuel, parang nagbibigay siya ng gasolina of the story, parang it really burns a fire, di ba? <laughs> Para nagkaroon talaga ng action. Influences is flow without a conflict, then you have no story. Diba? Kasi kailangan may conflict para may challenge. At saka para the more you watch it, the more you read the story, the more you will be excited to read it. Ayan. And another, we have the theme. Theme naman is a central lesson or a message in the story. Ayan. It's actually the moral of the story. Okay? And underlining meaning or a fictional piece, maybe author's thoughts, or topic or view of human nature. So, ano yung, what, what uh, interpretation or what lesson can you get from that particular story? That is what we call the theme or the central lesson uh, or message in the story. Ayan. Okay. So, let's have a face-off. <laughs> okay. Face-off ito ng fable versus parable. Ayan. So, ano kaya itong face of na to? Actually, it's just a comparison. Let's compare the two, no? The two different fictions that we have here. Ayan. So, both are fictions, right? Mm -hmm. Pero, these are actually the original meanings of this critical terms. Ayan. So, when we speak of fables, there are stories both teach morals principles and general truth truths about human nature so tandaan niya na guys so these are both giving morals and principles lessons in life ayan. but ayan well fables are set in a fantasy world so makita natin di ba mm. parang ang ganda ganda ng kanya mga ano ng mga ng setting Okay, it's a fantasy word the set there. While a parable is rooted in a real occurrences, yung talagang katotohanan. Ayan. Okay? So actually, it when we speak of fable, it's actually from the Latin word fabula, a telling or put the emphasis on a narrative. And in the medieval 
and Renaissance period was often used when speaking of the plot of a narrative. While a parable naman, it's actually a, uh, yeah, a Greek word, pamparabole, or a parable, a setting beside, mm -hmm, suggests a juxtaposition that compares and contrasts Contrasts, compares and contrasts this story with that idea. Kwano man na idea do. And also includes real and literal occurrences to which any reader can relate. No, kapag ka nagbasa ka nito ng parable. And the examples we have here, yung ano di ba yung talking frog versus prodigal son, ane ba? So fables actually often includes talking animals okay or animated objects as principal characters diba? so and also fables and parables this audience are easily identified with the characters kasi nga ganun siya so meron tayong tinatawag sa fables pag non-human characters they are used and then while the parables naman are the human characters so kita mo yung pagkakaiba nila sa so the difference okay so this one is more on the device of personalities, also extended on trees. Yeah, pag nanuman ano, winds, streams, stones, and other natural objects. Yan yung sa fable. Okay. And earliest our tales also include human and gods and as characters. Ito naman yung sa okay humans for the the parables and but fable tends to con. Uh, yeah, concentrate on animating or inanimate. Diba? Yun yung fable. Mm -hmm. Parang siyang ano, um, ordinary folk tales. Okay, that fables resembles. Pero, the moral is more on both. No? Meron moral si fable, meron din moral si parable. Okay. Well, parable also contains human characters only. Tandaan natin yan. And they are drawn from the real world situation okay problems are real struggles of people yan yung makikita natin sa parapo okay and when di ba nga sabi nga pag ano yun yung may example natin kanina di ba na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina yung uh, talking frog Okay, sa ano yung fable and then ang example naman natin sa parable is the prodigal son. They are both giving lessons in life pero they have different when speak of characterization or characters. Yan, kita mo yung pagkakaiba niya. Okay, another um, similarity of these two fictions, we have both teaches lessons and handed down orally in the past. Parang pinasa siya to, gener to the mouth, no? Genera generation to generation by our elders. Yan. Okay, ang anong pagkakaiba na to? Another, we have it has an imaginative or non-realistic aspect. Mm -hmm. And while parables has almost always have a religious, oh, di ba mapapansin mo, may mga spiritual aspect ito. You have parang more on uh, um, religious, okay? More on faith. Ayan, yun sa far parable. While a fable, ito naman is more on fantasy, imagination. Ayan. But they are still both giving lessons, no? And uh, lessons in life. Ayan. And... Ano pa? Ang pagkakasabi nila, they are both different in style. Ayan. Pagkakaiba sila ang style. Ito, si Fable, we have detailed, sharply observed social realism. Ayan. Ito naman kay Parable, parang mysterious yan. Parang mayroong mystery tone ang kanyang style ng writing. Okay. You two guys, once you are you are asked to write your own, no, in the future, you could be a future writer as a fable. So you can use this actually in how you compare these two fictions. Okay. When you speak of fables, these are in writing your style of writing. We have detailed, sharply observed social realism. And ito namang isa yung mysterious. Ayan. Okay. And the examples we have, ayan yung ano, Ace of Fables, no? Talagang, uh, ano, sikat na sikat na natin yan. Very familiar. The tortoise and the hare, the lion and the mouse. Okay, can you give me other examples, guys? 
Ano yung mga fables na natatandaan nyo during your elementary days, perhaps? Ayan. Type it down. Sige, tingnan ko nga. Other examples that you have read? Beautiful fables? Ayan. Sige nga. You can type on our uh, comment section. Ayan, meron tayo dito. Ayan, the ant and the grass supper. Kung natatandaan nyo, di ba? Hmm. Ayan. Okay. Another examples. Also among tales. Ano ito? Ayan. Oh, hello po, Marisol Cedron. Watching from Pilar, Bulinao, District of Pangansinan. Hello, hello. Okay, and we are also, we also have this, ito yun, yung 1,001 Nights. Yun, okay. Meron pa tayo dito, we have uh, Joffrey Kauser, or Kauser, The Canterbury Tales. Yan, ito si, ano, yes, Trisha, The Goose with the Golden Eggs. <laughs> okay, yes, Joseph answered pala, meron tayo, The Wolf and the Sheep. Very good, Joseph, Trisha. Si Joyce naman, the beauty and the beast. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Wolf and the sheep by Miko naman. And we also have Gambota says, the lion and the mouse. And the Guzman, Joyce, meron pa siya isang sagot, the fox and the crow. Ang dami, diba? Okay. So, ayan. These are actually well-known children's tales featuring, ito naman ay parang merong tinatawag na caution, fable, no? It's not only giving lessons in life, but there is also a caution fable. Ano yung kaya ito? Yan. Ano, sino to? <laughs> Can you guess the title of this fable? Anyone? Kindly type it down. Yes, may sagot si Ferline, the fox and the, uh -huh, the grapes. Patrick answered, uh, Patrick James Martin, the egg and the shell. Sino pa? How about try to guess the story? This is actually, yes, Torek Mabini says the little red riding hood. Ayan, okay. No? So, these are actually, um, para no, modern as writers, no? Like, uh, yun, so see Dr. Seuss uses aspect of fables in their work. Ayan. And also many modern stories or traits of fables. Although, they are much more complex stories, lines, no? Like parang yung ito, 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 isa. We have here, ayan, kay, yung kay George Orwell, yung Animal Farm. Okay. Ayan. Or yung mga fixer films. Okay. Ano na mga fixer films? We have yung Toy Story. <laughs> Very end, yung Cars. Ayan. Diba? This has actually modern stories na ito. Okay. And we also have secular examples of parables. Again, go as far as back as Aesop. Yeah. So well-known fairy tales is equal to secular parables. We also have the Hans Christian Andersson, yung emperor's new clothes. Remember? Oh, na the the king the king thought that he sh that he has a new clothes, but actually doesn't have. <laughs> okay, and he he uh, he went to a parade like that. So kita mo talaga. Yeah. Okay. Another we also have the. Ito na yung one uh, another characteristic of a parable: the majority are religion is religious in nature. Ayan yung the parable of the sower. Yeah, the rich man and the Lazarus. We also have the good Samaritan. So these are actually giving, uh, parang uh, making us more spiritual, giving spiritual values, no, in the particular story. Yeah. Okay. So join me to read another example, a very nice example of a parable. Yeah. The title is the story of the pencil. Familiar with the pencil? Okay. So, before we continue reading, can you give me just a very short for you guys, what is a pencil? Okay, can you write it down on our comment section? Pencil is what for you? It symbolizes for you. What is it? Can you write it down? Mm 
Mm-hmm. So pag sinabi natin pencil, usually they, we use that for school in writing. Yeah. Another. Yes. Yeah, Bianca said, use in drawing and write. Wow, no, syempre, drawing and writing. Siguro artist ito si Bianca, ano? Okay. Another from Joseph, for writing. Yeah, for writing. Pencil is a drawing material. Correct. Okay, another. Mm-hmm. Ayan, so, and a lot more. Di ba yung ginagamit natin? And of course, di ba sa pencil, meron tayong tinatawag na eraser. So, this afternoon, the story that we will be reading is the parable from the Paulo Coelho Coleho, novels like the flowing river or an excerpt from the novel like the flowing river. Ayan. Okay. So, which was written by, it's a thought-provoking story. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait lang ha. It's a, I just given short, a very, very short introduction about this one. It's actually a, a thought-provoking story about a non-script object that gives a powerful message later on. Try to find out what is this powerful message, okay? And read the story aloud to yourself, ayan, together with me. I want you to read with you guys, ayan, sa inyong mga bahay. Yan, sa inyong, kung nasan man kayo ngayon. Okay? And then, like a flowing river, it includes jewel-like fables packed with meaning. Ayan, sharing his thoughts or on spiritually or spirituality about life, ethics. And actually, Paulo touches you with his philosophy, invites you to go on exciting journey of your own. Okay, guys? Ready? Okay, you can read with me, everyone. Okay. A boy was watching his grandmother write a letter. Write a letter. At one point, he asked, Are you writing a story about what we have done? Is it a story about me? And then his grandmother stopped writing her letter and said to her grandson, I am writing about you, but more important than the word the world the i mean the words is the pencil i am using i'm writing i'm using i hope you will be like this pencil when you grow up intrigue the boy look at the pencil i didn't see i it didn't seem very special but it is just like another like any other pencil I ever seen. That depends on how you look at things. It has five qualities which if you manage to hang on them, it will make you a person you always at peace with the world. Okay. First quality. Okay, take note guys. Huh? The first quality, you are capable of great things but you must never forget that there is a hand guiding your step. We call that hand God, and He's always guides us according to His will. Second quality, now and then, I have to stop writing and use a sharpener. That makes a pencil suffer a little, but afterwards, he's much sharper. So, you too must learn to bear certain pains and sorrows because they will make you a better person. Third quality, the pencil always allows us to use an eraser. Para saan ba eraser? To rub out any mistakes. This means that correcting something we did is not necessarily a bad thing. It helps to keep us on the road to justice. Fourth quality, what really matters in a pencil is it's not its wooden exterior, but the graphite inside. So always pay attention to what is happening inside you. Finally, the pencil's the fifth quality, it always leaves a mark. It's in just the same way, you should know that everything you do in life will leave a mark. So, try to be conscious of that 
in your every action. Okay. <laughs> so, did you like it, guys? Did you like our very nice no, story of Paolo? The story of Pencil. Okay, I hope you have learned so many lessons from this story and this parable. Okay, so for our assessment, it's just a very, very quick assessment for this afternoon. I want you to write down on our your answers on our chat space. Ready? I like it, Mom. Yeah, thank you so much, Joseph, for appreciating it. Yeah, I like it too. Okay, yes, Paul, from Joyce de Guzman. Oh, yeah. Yes, from Miko, John, Christian. Oh, yeah, they live in love. And I hope this, the five qualities, do not just read it, but we have to apply it in our own life. Huh? Okay, so to start our question, what is the setting of the story? Can you guess? Can you write down your answers? Sige nga. Sige, what is the setting of our story? Mm -hmm. Nasa bahay kaya sila? Nasa mall? Where do you think they are? Okay, so let us reveal. <laughs> they are in their house or maybe in the living room, di ba? Okay, number two, who are the characters of the story of the pencil? Oh, who are the characters? Sige. We have, uh huh, yeah, Bulaklak answered Joseph. Uh, yeah, Joseph Bulaklak answered house, correct? How about the second question? Who are the characters of the story? We have the grand, we have, yes, the grandmother and the grandson. Okay, the third question, how were the characters presented in the story in character characterization? Ayan, ano pa, paano kaya? So, actually, the characters looks like direct, directly explained or described. Diba, describe na yung five qualities of a good pencil, of a pencil. Ayan. Okay, and... Where did the, were their dialogues included in the story? Or can you mention some? Ano ba yung mga dialogues na nabanggit doon? Sige nga, can you write some? Ex yes, we have Joseph. Yeah, correct, Joseph. Grandmother and the grandson, correct. How about the dialogues? Can you just, can you just type just a little dialogue that was mentioned there? Yan. Or di ba sinabi niya doon, uh, are you writing a story about me okay is it a story about me oh, diba? Tumagot naman si grandmother i'm writing about you but more important than the words is the pencil i am using so these are the dialogues okay ayan is what is the purpose behind the sharpener ayan yung sharpener natin kanina so actually when you say sharpener it requires polishing as well for a pencil to write diba okay we use it for sharpening the pencil or to write well in a sharpened or polish, a sharp pointed pencil writes better than a blunt one. Siyempre naman, ano? And of course, like an artist, pag tayo naging artist na, we have to make sure that the pencil is well sharpened. But as human beings, we are also required polishing and sharpening to make us more valuable. Diba? That's the most important meaning of this purpose. Uh, I mean, the, the purpose of the, the writer, Paolo. We were need to be make our decisions toughing instead of breaking down or our sharpening happens during tough times, diba? And tough times come to build us and prepare us for a better responsibilities in the future. Ayan. So here we have answer. It teaches us that the mean makes us, wow, very good, Miss Bianca Azaga. Sabi niya, it teaches us the pain makes us a better person. Ayan. Good job. Guys, okay. How about the eraser? Ano naman ang eraser? Okay. So what's the purpose of the eraser used by Paolo in our story? So actually, these are learn from your mistakes and make corrections. Adiba? So actually, a pencil is useful thing in our daily life, but we use it to write things down, to draw. Okay, tama kayo yung mga sagot nyo kanina, di ba? I asked you to write. Okay. 
Yeah, correct, Joseph. The sharpener is a use for sharpening. Human beings make a lot of mistakes. And we agree with that, no? Because we are not perfect. Tama naman, di ba? But we can learn from the mistakes and become a better and a wiser person. Okay, good job, everyone. Ayan, may sagot pa si Joseph. Okay, he answered... It uses the erase anything in writing and not only in writing, nak, no? it's also more on in mistakes in our life. Okay, so great job, everyone. Okay, Ayan. so for our sneak peek for next meeting, we have Creative Literary Adaptation Part 2. Okay, and speaking of uh, this adaptation, we have ICT components, skills for the part two, multimedia benefits, characteristics, types, formats, and files, extension, digital picture, and story. And for our task for the week, we have, I want you to read your favorite fable or parable, then try to identify the basic elements of a short story, of that particular story that you have, like the, the Paolo or the pencil that we have uh, read this afternoon, okay? And try to post it to our epi page and you make it creatively done and enjoy reading everyone. Okay, we would like to leave this leave this inspiring quote by Maya Angelou. There is no great agony than bearing an untold story inside you. Okay, so there you have it, guys. So we are inviting everyone to read stories that you love and learn lessons from it. Okay, so that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to our Dep Ed Ed Tech Unit Facebook page and YouTube channel accounts at Tech Unit Dep Ed Philippines to visit and share our episodes. Once more, I am your tutor Joyce saying have fun exploring the different concepts, texts in your weekly habit here in the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. Make sure to tune in for our next class, Reading and Writing with Tutor Jess and Zen and Creative Writing with Tutor Kit and Jerry. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye! Bye, everyone. <laughs>